I feel like if I saw this at the op shop, I would leave it there. <laughs> That's a little bit weird. I think I was misled <laughs> by her name on that. <laughs> I love. Welcome to episode five of Smash or Pass Mystery Mold Edition. Let's pick some molds. I'm gonna do another big flat one. And this one here, I'm gonna grab another bigger one from the bottom. I'm gonna grab this one. Here we have the one that says mouse. This mold is so damaged. All of in here is damaged. Uh, the whole back has some, it's like a bug has eaten away at it almost. This one actually has a rubber pore hole. I've never actually had one with a rubber pore hole before. I don't know if you can see in there, there's a giant crack. Someone hasn't taken care of it or it's been well loved. Just making sure that it's actually hit all the surface area before I keep topping it up. Okay, let's open it. Oh. <gasps> oh, that just like suctioned right off. Now let's see if it'll just flop out. Oh, yep. Ah, uh, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a little bit weird. So I first thought that this was a mouse, but I think I was misled <laughs> by her name on that because the ears appear to be a bunny to me. That's the first mystery. Is it a mouse or a bunny? I'd like to know your thoughts on that. I make weird and wacky designs all the time, but I I'd love to know if there's like a significant thing that this was re referencing to because sometimes I found with the molds, what they do is they reference another popular character. So for example, in the first Smash or Pass episode, we had Cabbage Patch Kids, but they were some kind of weird off brand that they were referencing so that they didn't get a copyright violation. So I'm wondering if you know what this is referencing. I think it would be an easy thing to paint, but it's just not really something I want to put my time into. The mold is really damaged. I just don't like the piece. I also find it really funny that some things are really flat, like the legs, but the belly is really like 3D and standing out as well as the nose and a few other features, but the like legs are flat. It's just kind of a bit funny. Funny little bunny. It's a smash. Also, I just want to show you, I've only cast this once and the crack has opened up even more. The whole mold piece is moving. I think that this is its last cast. I, like you can glue them back together, but they're just never the same. Got this one. It actually says a few things on it. Uh, so that says small candlestick with rose. Okay, I'm a bit nervous with this one. I think it's gonna be a smash. And that's for one reason, is roses can go either one of two ways. Roses can either be a little bit, how to say it politely, tacky. They kind of can look a bit tacky and a little bit cringy. <laughs> uh, or they can look really delicate, really beautiful and really tasteful. Oh. <laughs> That's a tricky one. I didn't expect the texture on this piece. There's a lovely texture on it. Like it almost looks like it's a stone. So it appears to be a candlestick as it says on the mold. As for the rose part, I'm sad to say it is on the edge of tacky. The reason being that it has a ribbon on the rose. If it was just some roses by itself, it could be a cottage core piece. The ribbon wrecks it. The ribbon wrecks it for me. But I, I would like to know what you think. I feel like if I saw this at the op shop, I would leave it there. I think if the roses were a nicer shape and a nicer positioning, and it didn't have this weird three ribbon, which actually could be significant or mean something. Would it mean something? Does it mean something? Does everything mean everything? As it stands, it's a smash. This one is rather heavy. I can lift it by myself, thankfully, this time. I like that it kind of looks like a little bird head. <laughs> <laughs> like little eyes and a beak. So on the side, it says that it is from 1988 and it's a small wall pocket. All right, what are we gonna do? I think I might use the bucket. No, I don't think it's that big. I think the mold is deceptive. I think I'm gonna risk it and use the jug. 
I'm going to do the big hole first and then top up with these two. Oh no, I should have used the bucket. Quick! What happens is if you stop start, it gets this ring because of where the clay has hit and in that period of time it's set before it's just not consistent. I'll show you what I mean. I got that pretty quick. I <laughs> should have just used the bucket. It was deceptively, although I nearly got there. I nearly got there. <laughs> it looks like a sad crying bird. So it appears to be what it says it is a wall basket. So it says to cut out I don't know how far I think I'm gonna cut out anywhere that doesn't have texture Now because of all that texture you can't actually see where I stopped started from before you can see those swirl marks on the back that's from stop starting pouring. That's what happens, but instead it happens all over the piece. This was a very lucky case that it didn't happen through the piece, just on the back. But that is what happens. Big little crater textures. To me, this looks like a flower pot. So it looks like it would hang up and then hold like some dried flowers or a succulent or even, I don't know, what else could you put in there? Plants. But there's always a but. In this show, there's always a justification for wanting to smash something. My issue with this piece is I can't do anything with it. I can do things once it's finished, but with something like this, technically you just want to highlight the texture and it be this really nice rattan looking piece, or maybe a color, you could add some attachments on it, but you really want the flowers to be the hero. Oh, bleh. My other issue with this piece is that it's rather heavy. So you'd have to pour it really thin for it to be a good wall piece and for a hook to sort of really hold that up. So for me, it doesn't interest me to finish it because I really want to do something groovy with it. And I just, I can't, I can't do that with this piece. Oh, so those bottom two holes that were like the eyes of the mold were helping the air flow through the pieces I poured it so it would make a complete piece. But where they're positioned would act as a really great drainage. I mean, I could make some clay flowers and pop them in it, but it's just a really heavy piece too. The texture is stunning, but unfortunately it's a smash. This one kind of makes me happy because usually this means it's a littered trinket pot. It looks quite plain, so I'm curious to see what it's going to look like. That came apart really easily. <laughs> That's very lovely. This has a similar layout as the ladybug trinket dishes, but it's except it looks like it's going to be a plain trinket pot. I just realized that this oh, this kind of tape is up in the mold. <laughs> I love. I'm not sure about this one. Usually it's pretty clear where to cut off on the pouring spout, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether this sits this lid sits inside or whether that's part of the shape because that's kind of a cool shape right hmm i'm gonna cut it off anyway just to see so far i really like it and it has this has a lot of potential just like i'm cutting butter melted butter when it should be more firm oh see that's cute too i don't know which way i kind of like the way it went up but then i guess that lip won't sit inside i don't actually know usually with jars they're like either spice jars or they're for storing something rather large but this one's actually rather low rather short and round 
So I don't know what you would store in something like this, but I love it. I love it so much. I'm thinking actually you could put the butterfly from Smash or Pass episode one on here and just have it like up. Or I could put bees on there, mushrooms. <laughs> it has so much potential for so many things, not just attachment wise, but you could just leave this simply and add all these beautiful illustrations on it. I love that it's got a nice little foot on the base. It's safe to say that if anything is really plain, simple and useful, <laughs> I will see the potential in it and it will get passed on. I think it's gorgeous and I can't wait to see what I can do with it. It's a pass. What did you think of this episode of Smash or Pass? Did I make the right decision? Let me know what you think in the comments and any ideas you have for the pass pieces. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. <laughs> that is fun. <laughs> the more I look at them, the more I start to go, I actually don't like this. Oh, no, that is absolutely unhinged. That is so cursed. <gasps>